This video is to show the difference between a buckskin and a dun. This is Echo, and everybody take a guess. What is he? Is he a buckskin or is he a dun? I'll give you a walk around, black tail. So the question is, is he a buckskin or is he a dun? We'll show your foreheads too. Okay, show your forehead. It's kind of dark in here. And then over here, we have Gus, who's younger and curious. We'll show your forehead. You can see a little bit of that. Those like stripes, it's called cobwebbing right there. Keep your head still. Video's not coming out good. And then he's got this frosting in his mane, and then he's got stripes on his leg, and notice this when I come around behind him, stripe down his back, frosting on his tail, he was just out, more stripes on the legs, so, Anne, you want to tell us? <coughs> Done! Buckskin. Done factor. We're going to call all of the frosting, the cobwebbing, which I know it's kind of hard to see in here because it looks a little bit like shadow, but you can kind of see how there's, like, he doesn't have super strong, but you can see the little black lines that want to run out from there. <coughs> the frosting in his mane, that's all called done factor. So, and the big giveaway would be the stripe down the back. So even though they're both kind of yellow bodied and black legged, this one has a stripe down his back and the other done factor things. <coughs> and this one over here, Echo, would be a buckskin. He has more of the coloring that a bay would have just done in yellow and black instead of red and black. So he does not, like a bay does not have leg barring with the striping on the legs. And this one does. So that's your lesson today in Buckskin versus done. Bye, Echo.